Welcome to our video on the Omniverse Connector feature in FlexSim. We'll walk you through everything from setting up the Omniverse server to establishing a live connection with FlexSim software. Whether you're new to simulation or looking to enhance your FlexSim experience, this guide will help you unlock seamless integration with Omniverse. Let's get started. Setting up Omniverse. First, let's open the Omniverse launcher. Once it's opened, navigate to the Library tab. Currently, I don't have any applications installed, so we need to download one from the Exchange tab. Find the USD Composer application and click the Install button. This is a large application, so it may take a few minutes to install. You can monitor the download progress at the top. Once it's installed, you'll see the USD Composer application in the Library tab. Setting up the Nucleus server. Now, we need to set up the Nucleus server. Go to the Nucleus tab. To set up the Nucleus server, click either Create Local Server or Add Local Nucleus Service at the top. A dialog box will pop up. Proceed by clicking the Next button. Now, you'll create the administrator account. Fill in your details and click the Complete Setup button. This will install the Nucleus server, which takes just a minute. Once the installation is completed, you'll see localhost with the username you provided. Click to view the folders inside it. I'm going to create a new folder to save our USD files and we'll name it Model Files, creating a file in USD Composer. Now, Let's launch the USD Composer and create a file to connect with the FlexSim software. Go to the Library tab and launch your USD Composer application. Once the software is loaded, you'll see a 3D space, a property window on the right, and a few more tabs underneath. Let's start building. Adding objects in USD Composer. Go to the Create menu at the top and add a cylinder to the 3D space. Now. Let's save this file in the folder we created. Give your file a name and click the Save button. Next, let's add a few more things to the 3D space. Navigate to the NVIDIA Assets tab at the bottom and search for Warehouse. Drag and drop the warehouse into the 3D space. You'll see the file loading in the bottom right corner. Now that our warehouse is loaded, Let's add an environment. Go to the Environment tab and drag and drop the environment of your choice. I'm adding a green hilly region. Next, let's add materials to our warehouse roof by dragging and dropping the required material. It's a bit dark inside the warehouse, so let's add some light. Go to Create and select the type of light you want. I'm selecting cylinder light and increasing the height and intensity in the properties on the right. Make sure to save your model to avoid losing progress. Connecting to Flexim. Now, locate the file in the content tab underneath the folder. After locating it, right click the file to show more options and select copy URL link. We've completed setting things up in Omniverse. Let's open the FlexSim software and connect. Open the FlexSim software. Once it's loaded, click New Model to create a new model. The Units dialog box will appear. Keep the default units. Time is seconds, length is meters, and fluid is liters. Click OK. Now, scroll down in the library to find USD stage under the Visual section. Drag and drop it into the 3D space. Click the USD stage to open its properties. Under the Stage section, paste the URL of the file you copied from Omniverse. Click outside the field, and the file created in Omniverse will now appear in FlexSim. Uncheck Draw Plane and check Select Prims to enable selecting the cylinder object added from the Omniverse file. Creating a live session. Now, let's create a live session. This feature is bidirectional, allowing changes made in FlexSim to reflect in the Omniverse file and vice versa. 
Go ahead and create the live session in the Omniverse Live section. Type the name of the session and click the Create button. Now that you've created the live session and joined from the FlexSim software, let's go back to the Omniverse USD Composer to join this session. Joining the session in Omniverse. Navigate back to the Omniverse USD Composer. At the top, you'll see the Live button. Click the drop-down option to open the menu. From the options, select Join Session. A dialog box will pop up showing the session name created in FlexSim. If needed, use the drop-down to choose the session you created. Click the Join button to join the session. Now that you've joined the same session from both software, keep them side by side and try changing the location, orientation, and dimensions of the objects. You'll see changes made in FlexSim reflected in Omniverse and vice versa. If you modify the cylinder in Omniverse, you'll see those changes in FlexSim. Now that you've connected FlexSim to Omniverse, created a live session, and witnessed how it works, let's explore the opposite. We'll add objects in FlexSim and bring those changes to Omniverse. Plus, we'll run the simulation model to visualize it in Omniverse with enhanced visuals. For this, I'll be using pre-built model files. If you're working in the same file, remember to leave the session before adding new objects to the model. Now, we're going to connect FlexSim with Omniverse to visualize our simulation model in real-time 3D. Let's get started. First, open your pre-built Omniverse model. This file includes a warehouse and surrounding environment, similar to our previous setup. Locate your model file in the Content tab underneath, right-click on it, and select Copy URL Link. We'll need this link shortly for our FlexSim model. Now, let's open FlexSim. Wait for your model to fully load. Before proceeding, make sure to build your entire model on the USD stage for Omniverse compatibility. In this model, we have a source that generates boxes. The boxes go to a queue, then a forklift transports them to the warehouse area. Once a box reaches the warehouse, an ASRS vehicle places it on the racks. Finally, the box moves to the sink through a conveyor. Now it's time to connect FlexSim with Omniverse. Click on the USD stage in FlexSim to open its properties. In the stage field, paste the link we copied from Omniverse. Then, click outside the field to confirm the connection. To transfer FlexSim objects to Omniverse, click the Save button in the USD Stage Properties. In the USD Composer you'll get dialog box to fetch the changes from the FlexSim. Click Fetch to bring FlexSim object to Omniverse. If your objects don't appear in the USD Composer, try reopening the file. Once you see the FlexSim objects in Omniverse, you're all set for the live session. Let's create a live session. In FlexSim, enter a session name like Live Connection and click Create. Now, switch over to USD Composer, click the drop down next to the Live button, and select Join Session. In the dialog box, use the drop down to choose Live Connection. Both applications are now connected in the same session. Now it's time to see it in action. In FlexSim, click Reset, then Run. Watch as the model runs in real-time with Omniverse's enhanced 3D visuals. With Omniverse's 3D capabilities, your simulation environment now looks and feels more realistic than ever. You can see each element in vivid detail, from textures and lighting on objects, to the precise movements of forklifts, ASRS vehicles, and conveyors. This realistic perspective offers a level of clarity that static or simplified models just can't provide. These enhanced visuals make it easier to analyze, understand, and optimize your model. 
you're able to experience your simulation in a way that's closer to the real-world environment, making it invaluable for testing and presentations. And that's it. You've successfully connected FlexSim with Omniverse, unlocking immersive, real-time 3D visuals for your simulation models. Now, we'll walk you through connecting to a Nucleus server on another PC using NVIDIA Omniverse. Follow these simple steps to seamlessly access shared content across devices. Enable sharing on User 1's PC. On User 1's PC, open the Omniverse Launcher application. Navigate to the Nucleus tab. Click the three-bar menu at the top to open the Options menu. Select Settings and it will open in your web browser. In the Apps tab in your browser, click on the Enable Sharing button. A pop-up dialog box will appear. Check the box to confirm sharing, then click Share. Now sharing is enabled, allowing other users to connect to this Nucleus server. Connect from User 2's PC. On User 2's PC, go to the USD Composer application. Go to the Content tab at the bottom and select Add New Connection. A dialog box titled Add Nucleus Connection will appear. In the Omniverse field, type in the IP address of User 1's PC. Give the connection a name in the Optional Name field, like User 1's Nucleus. Click OK. This will redirect you to an authentication page in the web browser. After successful authentication, you'll have access to User 1's Nucleus server content. And that's it. Now you can access shared content on User 1's PC from User 2's PC in NVIDIA Omniverse. This connection can streamline collaboration and content sharing across different PCs. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Happy simulating!